How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Jerry Nattler saying that Antifa as an organization and the violence that they do is a myth. So we don't see all the videos. We don't see them on social media. We don't know anything about what's going on. We're just dumb and we're just being um, fooled by some myth that only exists in Washington, D.C. Huh? Now, before I go any further, because I got a lot to say about that, actually, let's get into the clip of him saying that. Shout out to Fleck His Talks. This is his clip. I think I also saw Rogan O'Hanley, a.k.a. DC Drano, in the clip with him. After we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what he said. Then I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. It is true. There's violence across the whole country. Do you disavow yeah, the violence from Antifa? That's happening in Portland right now? There's that, that's, that, in... that's a myth that's being spread only in Washington, D.C. About Antifa in Portland? Yes. It Sir, there's, there's videos everywhere violence. online. There's fires and riots. There's th they're throwing fireworks at uh, federal officers. DHS is there. Look online. It gets crazy, Mr. Nadler. Wow, so... He thinks it's fake news. Antifa's a myth. Yeah, Antifa's a myth in Portland. Meanwhile, the whole city is on fire and they're trying to burn down the courthouse. But, you know. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, Nadler, what are you thinking about, sir? Do you really think that Antifa is a myth? Do you ever really leave Washington, D.C., sir? Do you understand what's happening right now in the nation? Do you have internets? Do you watch TV? Do you see what's going on? Or are you being willfully ignorant, just trying to ignore it because you want to be on their side? You want to be on the side of Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and any other subversive group out there that will fulfill your political narrative. What's happening right now in D.C. is that Nadler is at a hearing trying to grill Attorney General Bill Barr. He's saying things like, oh, you're aiding and betting Donald Trump and whatever he wants to do. A key thing that he was saying and what I've seen so far in the hearing is that not only Trump, not only Bill Barr, but the entire administration, they are encouraging violence against the so-called peaceful protesters all across the nation. Uh, Portland, to be exact, you know, sending the federal officers, Kansas City, I think Chicago as well. But see, that right there just points to his mentality of wanting to shield Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and any other subversive group. All right. Call them a myth. Say they don't exist. Say it's not really a real thing. And then the whole myth thing points to him thinking that the label of Antifa and whatnot is placed upon peaceful protesters in an attempt to silence them in an attempt to enact violence against them. That could be what is said in Washington, D.C. circles. I know what's not said outside of that, at least not among regular everyday people. When you're living in Portland, Oregon or anywhere else where you have a lot of Antifa violence, you're not going to think, hey, gee, I see you know, my, my house on fire. I see the federal building being attacked every day. I see all that graffiti that says ACAB, all cops are bastards. I'm seeing the anarchy symbol all over the place. I'm seeing Antifa symbols all over the place. I'm seeing them where their their outfits and little cosplay get ups with Antifa regalia all over it. That's not even really real. My own eyes are fooling me. That must be a myth because it only exists in Washington, D.C. It's a political thing to try and help the president. It be against the Democrats because Jerry Nadler said so. I don't think that's what your regular everyday normies out there saying. I think they see what's happening. And aside from what we see on the ground, as far as the violence, as far as the general chaos in the streets, you also have these guys telling you who they are. They have social media. In Portland, I think you have Rose City Antifa, and they've been there for a very long time. This ain't even nothing new. Like, this is not a new phenomenon happening under Trump. They've been around for a very long time. BLM is relatively new. They came around like 2015 or so. But before that, Antifa had already existed. They've been around engaging in subversive behavior, trying to overthrow the government maybe even overthrow the nation they've been around for a long time and before they came here to the states they started over in europe i think during world war ii in italy under mussolini all right 
the name of the group may have guys like Natler think that they are a benevolent group, anti-fascist. They're against fascism. They're against racist. So they must be a good group. But when you actually see them out there on the ground and you see what they're doing, they are the exact opposite of what they purport themselves to be. All right. They are racist. Like, let's say I'm out there as a black guy. Right. And I'm on the side of right. I'm on the side of good. And I'm against them. I'm an Uncle Tom. I'm a race trader. I'm a coon. I'm a salah. I'm everything else. So where is the anti-racism there? I don't really see it. And then as far as being anti-fascist, how are you going to be anti-fascist, but engage in fascist behavior? All right. Their name is a misnomer. The same thing as Black Lives Matter. OK, when you hear that, you think, oh, good group, benevolent. They're on the side of black people. They're against racism. But then when you see them out there, I mean, what are they really doing? Engaging in the same kind of general lawlessness, chaos, division, and anarchy that Antifa are doing, okay? And then most of these people are white that are in Black Lives Matter and Antifa, generally all throughout the nation. You may have, like, if you go to Atlanta or something like that, you may have more black BLMers. But for the most part, they're all white. It's not much of a difference between the two groups antifa black lives matter it's all pretty much the same but the names are kind of a misnomer and it allows for the mainstream media to bolster these organizations up you know you put in black lives matter on the hardwood and nba basketball games and major league baseball they're kneeling talking about black lives matter they're hashtagging it it sounds nice it sounds good but it's not good it's not nice and guys like natler aren't even alone in their particular viewpoint as far as antifa being a myth as far as it even existing or as far as you know being a violent group they think they're actually a good group if they think they do exist which not everyone even believes but you know what? It ain't nothing new for people in Washington, D.C. They're all political, you know, left, is, especially on the left, on the right as well. But really on the left, they're real political. They don't care about, you know, trying to help people, keep people safe, because if there's an Antifa rally planned in your area, you might think, oh, they're against the races. They're going to protect me. And then once that lock flies across the uh, room hits you right in your forehead and you bleed and you like what happened to all the anti-violence anti what's going on you know why am i being hurt why am i being attacked because you've been fooled by the leftist politicals like jerry natler and the mainstream media into thinking that antifa is some benevolent organization i mean come on anybody with a pair of eyes can see it who was over there in chad's chop who shot those two young black men up there including Horace Lorenzo Anderson Jr. Who killed these people? Who was out there attacking them? Okay, BLM and Antifa. You can see them everywhere. They're online. They're in the street. They tell you who they are. You see the arrest records. You know all of what's going on. Okay, if, if, if it's a secret, it's the worst kept secret in the entirety of the USA. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that Jerry Nadler is correct when he says that Antifa is a myth? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or is he incorrect when he says that Antifa is a myth? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. Antifa is not a myth. You can see them every day. They're visible. They're not hiding. They tell you what's going on. They're on social media. They're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere else. Same thing for BLM. They're all over the place. I think by this point, we are pretty much know what's going on with these groups with these organizations and if you live in an area like portland or free out of washington or los angeles or san francisco somewhere over on the left coast be aware of these groups to protect yourself if you're hearing buzz in the air of antifa coming the blm coming you better get ready if you're able to get armed i say go ahead and get armed and protect yourself because you don't want to be just riding down the street all of a sudden, here comes a bunch of Antifa guys running your car, throwing rocks, trying to get you out, and you got kids in the back seat. You don't want to be in that situation. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.